Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Luke's Fishing Mission. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, I am out chasing whiting again on surface lures. I've had an absolute ball doing this. Clearly, the readership or the viewership from these videos have been striking a chord with you guys for the most part at home as well. So I'm thinking you like seeing a bit of this stuff. Whiting on surface is so fun, it's so addictive, and I'm hoping I'm giving you some inspiration to give it a crack. I'm out again, early Saturday morning. It's 6 a.m. The moon is going down. I don't know if you can see it behind me between the mountains over there, but that was a super moon last night. We've got the sun coming up over there. We've got the moon, the sun in the sky at the same time. Massive tides today, 0.1 meter low up to about a 5.7 or 5.8 meter high tide. So I usually get about an hour and a half fishing here. The tide's already turned and it's gonna come flat out today like a horizontal waterfall. It's gonna come real fast. So I probably only got one hour today, but the main reason I'm coming for a third time in a month to do whiting is I have talked about the new Bass Day Sugar Pen Splash 75 mil that was just released at AFTER. It actually got best hard body lure at the show at AFTER 2023. This is it. I've got a hold of one here. It looks so much like a prawn. It's 75 mil, but it's still pencil thin. So whiting I've been using so far, the 58 mil Bass Day Sugar Pen. Nice small lure. Now I'm using a much larger one, 75 mil. So let's see how vicious, let's see how vicious these guys actually are. This lure was designed specifically for whiting on top water. So I'm keen to see how it goes. It's a little splashy popper, but it walks a dog as well. And I've tricked it up with the assist on the back. And it is very much like a prawn. Actually, if you look at it from the top down, it looks quite like a prawn. It's got that little flicker tail out the back. Nice and pencil thin, once again, as I said, it's got the prawny segments through it. So guys, I'm gonna give it a crack here and let's just see how big a lure whiting will actually take and how aggressive they are. I've shown they've eaten a small lure, 58 mil sugar pen. This is 75 mil lure now, so quite a bit bigger. Let's see. Okay, good luck, my little friend. Mwah. Go catch me something. Let's go. This is a little popper. Little blooping popper. I'm so used to using stick baits. Oh wow, it actually walks really well as well for a popper. You can actually meander it as well. That is super cool. The tide, I must have still got the last of the run out. It's still running out. But geez, it must be close to turning soon. Then it's gonna come in flat out. Now guys, this lure is actually 5.3 grams. The sugar pen 58 mil that I've been using here is uh, 4.1. So that little bit of extra weight, is gonna help the casting as well, a little bit further each cast. And as I've mentioned, all about the flats is about prospecting water, covering as much ground and as much water as you possibly can to find those fish. Flats are a barren place. You gotta try to do those casts, fan them out, long cast, keep that water, keep moving that water all the time to find the fish. It bloops really nicely. It's spitting that water out the front, like prawn might. And then I know that it was specifically designed for. Whiting do love a little bit of water getting spat out the front, apparently, on your retrieve. That's what the guys down south tell me. My mate, Matty Cameron, MC, he does a bit more of this than I do. And he did tell me that that's what the whiting down south love. And that's why this lure was specifically designed for whiting on top water. And 75 mil, so we're getting up there in, in size. Let's see how big a whiting we can catch on it. I've got no doubt a small 15 centimeter whiting will still eat a lure half its size, being seven and a half centimeters. Obviously it's a little splash popper, but such a slim profile of these sugar pens that it meanders remarkably well as well. So that's a really good thing. You can bloop it to get the fish's attention, then maybe slow it down and start meandering it. More of a seductive retrieve. You can mix it up. and In one retrieve, you could do two different styles of fishing. Depending on the amount of flow, tide, what the fish are doing, 
You can mix that up. That's really, really clever. Oh, yes. Got something here? My first fish on the new lure. And it's not big at all, but it's a whiting. Check it out. Look at this. How big? Maybe 20 centimeters, 18 centimeters, if that. First fish on the new lure. Guys, have a look at this. I guess it begs the question now, how vicious whiting must be? That, that whiting's maybe 18 centimeters, probably not even 20, and it ate a 75 mil lure. That is my new Bass Day Sugar Pen Splash 75 mil. And this whiting just ate it. And it is a tiny whiting. Begs the question, how big a lure can you use for whiting? And they eat it. Now, a friend of mine on uh, social media did mention on my YouTube channel, left me a comment, he used the 95 mil sugar pen to catch whiting. I'm like, that's huge. How big a lure will whiting mow down? And it's not even a big whiting. But that's the first one on the new lure. That's pretty sweet. You know what? I would have balked a little bit, I've got to be honest, at using a 75 mil long lure for whiting. But I know this was what... This lure was designed for exactly for, for whiting, especially down south where they get the real nice whiting. But as you can see, by that fish there, probably 19 centimeters, wouldn't even maybe have been 20. Small whiting, way undersized, it ate it. I'm gonna get a little bit more time here because it hasn't started rushing in yet. Fishing the last of the run out, but then the first of the run in, the turn, as I've mentioned in previous land-based videos, that's when I like to fish, especially land base or actually even in the boat. First to run in is my favorite time for fishing. I would love to find a few bigger fish. I keep catching a lot of small ones here, which shows how aggressive they are, but I do want to take a couple home, good ones for a feed. That'd be nice. But I'm liking where I am. Sort of the turbid water comes in close, so it's probably a bit deeper and a bit of flow here. Out there, it's quite shallow. Bit of a deeper section right in front of me. That's where I caught that last whiting. Cast like a bullet. That extra little bit of weight gives a little bit more casting power and a little bit more distance on the cast. 5.3 grams and the sugar pen 58 I have been using here is 4.1. So a little bit more, probably another 20%, just over 20% more weight. Now, as I've mentioned in previous whiting videos, very important. If this is the first one you've uh, seen from me, go back and watch the others. But I'll repeat that very important fact it's very important to keep your lure moving for whiting. Do not pause. When you pop, do not pause for very long. Keep it moving consistently. That's why I like meandering. That's why I like stick baits actually, so you can meander. And I can still do that with this little surface popper. But the whiting will get a look at it. If you stop on your bloop and you pause, the whiting with their keen eyesight in this shallow clear water will get a good look at it, realize something's not quite right and shy away. Need to keep it consistently moving. Here we go. Looks like a nice little spot there. Bit of rough water. Rougher water. A bit of deeper water. Oh, oh, that was a hit. Yeah. Right where I thought they would be. Didn't hook up. Probably another whiting, I'd say. Let's go again. There's definitely one there. I'm pretty hopeful I'm gonna get a few fish on this lure today. I've got the one fish in the first five minutes and I've had two other strikes. But they didn't hook up. And the tide hasn't even turned yet. So it's not even the best time. <clears throat> Every other video that I've made here, the tide has been well and truly coming in the whole time and I've cruised up the beach with the rising water. It's still running out. And I don't get it, because it's meant to have turned about an hour ago, and it's massive tides today. So it's going to come in flood out when it comes, but I'm surprised it hasn't been held up out there at the bar, around the mouth, the shallow mouth would do things to it. A little bit delayed, it's good to note that. Bit of a delay here. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Has that not got to be the world's smallest whiting? It's nine centimeters long, caught on a seven and a half centimeter lure. 
Oh my god, check it out. Oh my god, check this. Check this out. 75 mil lure, 90 mil whiting. Okay, that puts to bed the fact that they are not aggressive, these fish. This little whiting wouldn't even be able to fit this thing in its mouth, but it tried to eat it. Now that has got to be the smallest whiting I've ever caught. And it just happens to be on the biggest lure I've ever used for them. Now, you can't tell me whiting aren't aggressive. Look at the size of this thing. It's 80, 90 mil long and ate a 75 mil lure. Are you kidding me? A guy who told me that he used a 95 mil Baste sugar pen for whiting, a really big lure for whiting. Mate, completely believe you now, especially after catching that little fish on a 75 mil lure when it was probably a 90 mil fish. Unbelievable, eh? This is so cool, man. This is the most fun, relaxing, enjoyable way to spend a couple of hours fishing on an early Saturday morning. Whiting on surface. I don't care that they're small fish. I really don't. It's fun. I'm getting quite a bit of action here. Um, it's accessible. Anyone can do it. Walk down the beach. Even kids can do it. You don't need flash gear. And there's sandbars everywhere. Anywhere you fish in Australia, you could do this. So it's so accessible to so many people and I'm loving it and I don't care that they're small fish. It just better highlights just how aggressive these buggers are. Yes, it's easy to catch a bigger fish on a lure, but catch a small fish on a lure? Well, I'm not saying that's skillful by me. It's just I'm gobsmacked at the aggressiveness of whiting. Full stop. Oh, yep, on, on to a fish here. Oh, I might have just lost it. Oh, damn. Oh, he's on to now again, unless it's a different fish. Oh, it might be a different fish, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Is it a flatty, is it? Might be a little flathead. If it's a whiting, it's a better one. Or oh, it's foul hooked. One or the other. It might be a whiting. It looks silver. It is a whiting. It might be hooked in the belly. But he's obviously had a crack at it. And then probably one of the assist hooks has got him, I'd say. Yes. Hooked in the guts, I think. But yeah, he's certainly a bit bigger fish. It's a little bit better. Oh, and he just got off there. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, there's fish chasing it again. There are fish chasing it again. Very next cast. Yep. Oh. oh. Man, these whiting are all over this new lure. So I'm just blooping it at the moment. Slow bloops. Little cup face popper splashing and spitting that little bit of water out in front. Just a nice, subtle twitch. You're not popping for GTs. It's nice and subtle. Less is more with whiting. When you're doing this stuff, when you're chasing whiting on the flats, make sure you use nice light leader. I'm using six pound leader. And make sure it's fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon contains the same mirroring qualities as water, so it's virtually invisible in water, which is what you need in these shallow, clear flats. The whiting have pretty good eyesight too, so need everything in your favour. But I'm getting hits from whiting nearly every cast at the moment. Just want a big one to come in and nail it. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Oh, feels a bit better. A little bit of a better fish, this guy. It's a whiting. Yes, that's what I'm chasing. Ah, oh, fun stuff, man. Yeah, better fish. Oh yeah, he's all right. Really nice whiting. He's definitely legal. I'm gonna throw him back. It's really cool to see on the new Bass Day Sugar Pen Splash 75 mil. 
hooked him on both the assist hooks too. I could tell that was a better fish. It certainly fought better. It's probably the best whiting I've caught at this spot now. And certainly the best I've caught on this lure, obviously, as well. Oh, yes. And again. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm on again here. Oh, it's not too bad. If it's a whiting, it's not too bad. It, it looks like a whiting again. And it feels like a whiting. This is, this is so cool. Oh, this is my fifth whiting now. And this is probably another bigger fish. Well, slightly better than average anyway, that I've been catching here at this, for this spot. Yeah, definitely a whiting. How good is this new lure go on the whiting, man? I've got to say. How good. That's a nice whiting. Man, I wish I kept that last one now because I'd have a pair. A pair for breakfast. But no point in just keeping one, so I should start keeping a few, eh? This guy's going back. That's a good fish. What's happening here for these two bigger whiting, where that smoother water is where my lure is right now, it's quite shallow. It's shallow sandbar. And as it comes off the sandbar, about now, it's rougher water, it's a bit deeper water. You can definitely see the change. So you gotta look out for cues like that when you're fishing these flats. That little bit of a drop off, that little bit of a current and eddy and deeper water is enough structure to hold your whiting. So once again, I'm using my four to 10 pound, seven foot long Samurai Reaction. Two and a half thousand egg beater, six pound braid and about six or eight pound liter. Now, this gear is certainly on the heavy side for this sort of thing. I'm really wanting to get myself like a one to three kilo rod and a little 1,000 and maybe some four pound braid, something like that. It'll be even more fun. I'm having a ball doing this with this gear, but it certainly is on the heavier side for this sort of fishing. But being in North Queensland and often tangling with much larger fish, this is the lightest combo I've got. And I'm still having a ball doing this. But a nice light combo. Just whatever you do get, make sure it's a graphite rod. If you get a spaghetti rod, a glass tip rod, and as I mentioned in previous videos, um, a lot of your power in your cast will be absorbed in the warp of that spaghetti rod and it won't be as accurate either. You won't get the casting distance. A nice, pokey, stiff, rigid graphite rod will transfer every ounce of energy you put into that cast into it and get that lure out further. Look at this, will ya? How fast this water is coming in here. Wow. Oh yeah, oh. Yep, yep, again. He came back and ate it again. He had a go, came off, but then he wanted it so bad. So you can't tell me whiting aren't aggressive. Oh my God, came back a second time. How good. Oh, yep. On to one, on to one. Here we are. Another fish. Oh, had a bit of poke about it. What have we got? It's a whiting again. Geez, if I kept those two whiting from earlier, I'd have a third. That's a nice, really nice whiting. Look at that. Yeah, guys, just closing out today's session. Well, if the last four weeks have taught me anything, it's two things. Whiting on surface is so much bloody fun. It's so addictive. That's why I've done three videos in the last month. And secondly, how aggressive are these fish? I've had fish come back two or three times, swiping, missing, swiping, missing, and then hooking up. Like, how aggressive are they to just keep coming back again and again and again? Plus, the fact of using a 75 mil lure today, I, that was a big point of today, to come out and test out the new Bastet Sugar Pen Splash 75 mil, it's a larger lure, it's a larger profile. So not only did I catch a few of the larger whiting I've caught now at this spot, which was really cool, two or three nice fish today. Um, you know, I got seven all up, but three of them were quite good. 
Um, but I also caught the smallest whiting I've ever caught on lure too. And it was probably 90 mil, 100 mil tops, probably more like 90. Wouldn't have even been 10 centimeters on a seven and a half centimeter lure. Just goes to show how aggressive they are. And that was a big part of today. It's coming out using this new lure. It just got the, uh, just got released at AFTA this year and got voted the best hard body at show. The best hard lure at show at AFTA 2023. And I can see why. Fantastic, made specifically for whiting. Had a ball with it today, guys. Now, as I said, I've done three whiting videos in the last four weeks. Loved it, but I am gonna step away from doing this now, even though I'm so addicted to it, and do uh, a little bit of other stuff now. Go back to catching bar and stuff like that. You're probably getting sick of watching me catch whiting, but I hope I've given you a bit of inspiration to come out and do this stuff. What I really wanted to show is how accessible it is, sandbars everywhere, nice light rod and reel, and you can have hours of fun, bring the kids, go catch a fish for dinner. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.